Come is Ramo. Hi, it's Victoria Vox. Katapos ang tanan kung agin ubra para si mo. Amo ni balik mo sa akon. Manipulation tactic exhibit A. Kung nag-expect ka gali sang kapalit tani, wala man lang gin ubra di ba lang? Kung may ubra hon ka, nga bulig o kung ano man da para sa isa ka tawo, ubra ha kay gusto mo. Hindi ka may gusto ka in return. And not because you want to impose utang na loob. And as ironic as it sounds, balanta nga sala eh. We already know that manipulating people is bad. And we also know that we don't want to be on the receiving end. But then, why do we still hear manipulative lines too often? It's time to get educated on the different types of manipulation and how they appear every day. The sooner we can recognize them, the sooner we can avoid being victimized by it. To manipulate someone is to try to change their mind by force. Ang nang hindi na gani ang tao pero ginapilit mo pagyapon gusto mo matabuha. This this is an exploitative tactic to get what you want at the expense of someone else. Nakuha mo gusto mo for why? Gin sa kasaan mo nang boundaries ang iban. Although hindi man siya hugas kamay ha. At some point maybe subconsciously, we too manipulated someone without knowing it was manipulation. There are so many ways to manipulate such as power tripping. This happens when there is a power imbalance between two people. Halos permita ni mabati ano kung experience sa balita. Ako mas magulang. Ako kinalan masunod. We all know that in the Philippines, we have a habit of putting older people in a pedestal. But some older people take advantage of this culture way too much. Nga wala na sa lugar. Ang tipo na balang akong ikaw ang kamanghuran, wala kasi sa kung ano man obrahon sa imo. Kung ikaw ginasugo, wala ka choice kay ikaw ang kamanghuran sa tanan. Kung ginabuli ka, sorry ka kay ikaw ang kamanghuran. Kung wala ka ginarespeto, sorry ka kay ikaw ang kamanghuran. Kung naghambal ka nga, hindi mo gusto mga jokes nila. Nga, nagkakasakitan ka na. Hambalan ka pa nga pikon. O kung sensitive si mo, kag-sorry ka kay ikaw ang kamanghuran. Your opinions, thoughts, feelings, and emotions don't matter because you are the youngest and because they can. Ang isa pa ginabala ka method nga sulit na sulit gid sa mga Pinoy, ang guilt tripping. Paawa effect ang peg. Why can't we just get comfortable with hearing no? No means no. Hmm? What's worse is they take their goodwill against you. As if yung pangayo mo na, ang utang na loob nga na falls under guilt tripping. Because you make people feel bad for not reciprocating their actions or not doing what they want you to do. Malun tabi, ano, example. Megin sugo, imo magulang. May pabakal siya si mo. Pero te, kay busy ka man, kag hindi mo maasikaso, ginabalan mo siya nga, basi hindi ko maubra. Kung maubra ko, pero basi madugayan. Tapos, since hindi niya makuha ang gusto niya in sigida, ginabalan ka niya nga, Sige na lang ah, kung budlaid para si mo, ngita na lang ko solusyon nga ako na. Sige, salamat na lang ah. Or there's this common situation among parents and kids when parents ask money from their children. Ngayon, sila kung nakwarta pang birthday ko no. Ikaw gani nga, hindi makaarapal sa ginagastos mo sa pang adlaw-adlaw, pangayuan ka pa ah. Abi yun sakto? Then when you say sorry, nai, why gig ko subong? Isipan ka pa kagambalan nga, ginpaskwila ta ka, ginpakaum ta ka. Tapos subong nga kami naman may kinanlan si mo hindi ka gidya, hindi gid kaya. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I'm all for gratitude and giving back when you can, but not just because it's demanded of you. Comparison is such an overused tactic. Pero wala pa gid tayo gyapon niya na dala. Mayo pa si Marites, kinbaklan aircon, ti ako ya dai. Si Manong mo ganay ka tinir sang 10 years sa isa ka obra tapos ikaw nga 6 months ka pa lang masaylo ka na dayon obra. Why does it sound like I don't have a choice? Sanda ko nga hindi ko gusto obra ko. Sala ko nga kinalan ko i-prioritize lawas ko kag mabuhi. Another manipulative tactic we encounter is gaslighting. This happens when someone tries to make you doubt yourself or even question your reality. The end goal here is to make you ashamed of what you feel. When your partner tells you things like 
I'm sorry you feel that way. Run. You are being gaslighted and it's not just cruelly concealed in honesty. No, they are not sorry. What they want you to feel is ashamed for feeling angry or sad. Because if they really are sorry, they'll give you a real apology. One that takes accountability for what they did. Another instance is when your parents say something offensive like ano ay han abi ham balon sa iban nga tao kay wala gasim ba imo boyfriend. Then after that, you tell your parents, well, it's none of their business, or the comment hurt you. Instead of them saying sorry, their voice suddenly becomes very defensive, and they make it about them, twisting everything as if it's your fault you were hurt. As if it's also your fault that your boyfriend doesn't go to church. Gambal lang ko tuod ma yun na nagani. Ano ba ti an mo halin sa akin kisa sa iban? Tama na bigay mo siya nasi mo na gay no e dabla. Kung amo lang gina pa hambal ti na pa isip kagidya bi. Kung ikaw gid man ang may sala. But not all manipulative behaviors are obvious. May ara man nga pa simple. Kibot ka na lang nga years later, traumatized ka na gali. May trust issues ka na, may intimacy issues ka pa. Kagwala ka kabalo kung di na halin. Like, love bombing. This usually happens in romantic relationships where you start dating someone and that person acts like you've been together for years. They literally bombard you with love and affection. They'll start showering you with grand gestures like flowers, chocolates, teddy bear, kagsunod-sunod nga dates. They'll be spending so much time with you too soon and will start texting you every day. It might seem cute at first, but what you don't know is that they're getting you hooked on them. And it's scary because it's usually narcissists who love to use love bombs. Kikung na hook ka na, then they will be able to use your affection towards them against you. Since may kapit na sila si Mo na blaw, dira na nagagwa ang kung palangga mo ko hindi ka na magwa karun upods mga miga mo ha? Ano? Ano ko na? Do you feel guilty? And that brings me to my next tactic. Emotional blackmail. This is where everything you don't agree on, break up na dayo ng solusyon. Ah, magwa ka karun. Sige, break na ta. Ah, hindi mo gusto magpantalon. Sige, break na ta. Hindi mo pag-untatan ang pakipag-message mo kag pakipag-kitanay sa best friend mo. Sige, break na ta. Maman, late ka nag-reply. Ano ginobra mo? Sige, break na ta. Tana na lang, git. Break ang solusyon, girl. Because emotional blackmail leverages the value of the relationship or the other person to get what they want. And there's no way that this is healthy. But this doesn't just happen in romantic relationships. This also happens at home when parents threaten to disown you or to punish you for not doing what they want you to do. Kung pakaslan mo na siya kalimti nga bata, tanaka, hindi mo gusto pagsundo ng patakaran sa panimalay ko, pues! The door is wide open. Can you believe? Nga asta subong. May ara man gyapon nga ginikanan nga ginapalayas ang ilang nga mga bata tungod na nga hindi sila pagsundon. Immature much? Oh, did I hit your ego much? Aren't you too pretty to be smart? Or if you're curvy and thick and you posted photos of you in a bikini, they'll tell you you're so brave. Anna? Exactly. This is called negging. Some do it intentionally, but I understand that some would do it unintentionally. They think they're trying to compliment, but actually are insults. It aims to leave the person disarmed and vulnerable, so they start questioning their self-worth. Another one to look out for is breadcrumbing. When someone replies enough to lead you on, but never really follows through, they will always leave you wandering. That way, they'll always have control over you. It's called breadcrumbing because they only give you breadcrumbs, the bare minimum. Enough for you to stay and hope that things will get better. This usually happens during the early stage of dating. Ang puro plano lang na bala pero wala ka katupad. Pero hindi lang may sa romantic relationships ha. This can happen at home, at work, or even with friends. Ang friend mo na nga makita mo lang kung may kinanlan siya na bala hao. 
Pero mi unavailable, kung may problema ka. They barely know what's going on with their life and you barely know what's happening in theirs. Ang isa naman, ang tamaan ka uso. And though, ang little ya sir, yan, wala ka kung may problema, gani, walk out. Kung nag-away, hindi pag-istoryahan. Kung wala, nag-agree sa isa ka bagay, cold shoulder da, yun. Stonewalling, tawag da, kay literal, naka-istorya mo, pader. Pwede istoryahan ta, hello, akig ka. May ginobra ko nga sala. Sorry na. Wala well, kabalo. Ara ka nagalit sa Facebook status niya. Mayo pa si Facebook. Kabalo nga akig siya. Ikaw yan? Huli sa balita eh. And the last one is passive aggressive. It's when the person you're dealing with says one thing but acts the opposite and try to manipulate how you feel and make you adjust to what they need from you instead. Hindi ko akig ah. Pero hindi mo may storya and chak to. I'm not siding with anyone. Pero pagkatapos niya, balon na, akigan ka niya, kagretsuran ka niya. Abi ko, you're not siding with anyone man bala. Don't me. Mm -mm. There are so many ways people could be manipulative. But one thing is consistent. The objective. If someone is using your emotions to steer your decision the other way, then that's manipulation. And while there is nothing wrong with asking your family or friend or your significant other to help you with something, harmless favors, if done in bad faith, can turn into a manipulative tactic real quick. And one manipulative moment can soon turn into chronic manipulation when not addressed. Isipan na lang wala mga bata ang pirmi ginaakigan kung hindi magsunod sa ilang ang mga ginikanan. To set it straight. Not because it's been done for years means it's the right thing to do. Chronic manipulation leads to trauma and a handful of mental health issues. If you've been a victim of these tactics, you'll just wake up one morning afraid to commit, afraid to trust, afraid to be who you are, afraid to voice out your thoughts, afraid to defend yourself. You'll end up always apologizing, always pleasing, always afraid of saying no, afraid to ask for help, afraid to be judged. And you're not quite sure why. Honey, you have been manipulated. And if that type of manipulation seems so seamless, then it's likely that it has also been passed on to your manipulator with little knowledge. That culture has to end with you. Call it out. When you recognize any of these tactics being done to you, call it out. It's the only way you can distance yourself from it. And your manipulator can know that what they're doing is unacceptable. Set your Boundaries. Once you've pointed out the action, set healthy boundaries. Ano pwede nila ubrahon next time? Ano hindi? Only you can draw that line. Don't like to be love bombed? Set the pace. Don't like being stonewalled? Demand for a conversation. Kung may ginubra ko, istoryahan ta kung ready ka na. Don't like being breadcrumbed? Set a deadline. Hindi ka magpasagot na pasang awa lang hatag si mo, eh? You deserve to be more than a backup plan. Cut them off. And after all that productive communication, this is your moment to walk away. Don't be afraid to cut them off because the cost of your people pleasing is your sanity. It's your happiness and peace of mind. So believe me, it's not worth it. Manipulation is a culture that goes way back. It's so ingrained in our culture that sometimes we forget to recognize it. But it doesn't have to keep cycling down to generations. It's not enough that you say something when you see it. It's time to do something about it. So the next time that someone tries a manipulative tactic on you, call it out. Refuse to be victimized and to set your boundaries. And if that still doesn't work, then cut them off. You deserve to be loved fully without backhanded remarks. It's their loss, honey. You deserve better. This is the 35th episode of this makeup therapy series. And if you like content such as this, please hit the like, the share, like, what? Like, share, comment your thoughts down below, and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.